Hey you guys, it's Bird. Tonight we have a little update on the troll Colleen Ballinger. She um, is just, this is just what we're going to get and I'm going to talk about it nevertheless. So I have an update on her and then I also have a quick little update on the comedian Matt Reif. He is now deciding to pick fights with children on the internet. So if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so I took the majority of the weekend off. I just wanted to unplug and take some time away from social media. Um, sometimes you have to, you know what I mean? And I feel like, you know, the holiday season and stuff, there's just so much happening and so much going on that um, it, it felt like the right time to take some time off and uh kind of regroup. So my next few videos will most likely have multiple top topics in them. Hopefully that's good with you guys, but I am now trying to play a little bit of catch up and uh, just cover everything that I want to cover. So let's talk about Colleen as I charge my computer. Um, Colleen put out this video on her vlog channel, which is not doing well. The update was, I got so many comments like this with, with a, you know, like the whining emoji. And I would like to note that that video did get her over 100,000 views. And the only other time recently that she has gotten over 100,000 views is when she used her children. She clickbaited that her kids think that she's Zendaya, which is wow she talked about the last miranda shows where she breezed over talking about her being canceled and aside from that even she even tried to use her taylor swift uh copy me that didn't reach a hundred thousand so i guess the next day she figured let me clickbait everybody and piss people off again and if you're wondering what comments she got so many of, no, it's not the actual comments that she deletes where people are calling her out, telling her that she has yet to take any accountability, yet to, um, you know, issue a proper apology, apology to the people that she negatively impacted or anything along those lines. The comments that she wanted to address in this video are that she uses apple cider vinegar in her deviled egg recipe. I am not making that up. I am not, not exaggerating it. I will insert a clip so you guys know what I'm talking about. Because so many people were commenting, making fun of me, calling me weird because of how I made my deviled eggs yesterday in the vlog. How I make my deviled eggs mixture is I like a very simple deviled egg and I like mayo and a little bit of mustard, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, salt and pepper. And on the top you can sprinkle some paprika, you can put an olive, whatever your choice. Oh my gosh, the amount of comments I got of people being like, wait, why are you putting apple cider vinegar in your deviled eggs? You are so weird. That is so weird. I've never heard of that. Why did you do that? That's why I don't taste good. First of all, I didn't realize that not everybody did that, but I like a little bit of a tang in my deviled egg and it's because that's how my mom makes them. My mom uses this old recipe and every time I want to make deviled eggs, I can't find her recipe online. I have to text her and she texts me this like cute little recipe like it's like taped up inside of one of her cupboards. It has apple cider vinegar. I don't know what to tell you. It's my mom's recipe so you're not allowed to make fun of it. You're not allowed to knock it. Don't knock it until you try it. It's very simple but it's got that like the apple cider vinegar gives it just like a little tang, like a little like zesty moment where you're like, Whoa. but it's good. I promise. And the like little mustard gives it a little like sharp pizzazz. It's mostly just yolk and mayo but like everyone came for me about the apple cider vinegar. I'm sorry. It's just how we've always made it in my family. Like uh, that's how I like it. I've tried every kind of deviled egg. I've had deviled eggs at like gourmet restaurants where they put like candy bacon on top. Like I've had like the fanciest deviled eggs in the world. I've had deviled eggs by the most incredible chefs ever and they're good. But like I always prefer my mom's recipe. And even though when I made them last night in the vlog, like I was like, ew, these taste funky. I did it wrong. It's because I did it wrong. Like the way my mom does it is like perfect. And I always just, I love my mom's deviled eggs so much. Don't cover my mom. I just put myself in the eye. Don't cover my mom's deviled eggs. Anyway, I just could not believe the overwhelming amount of comments about how weird it was that I put apple cider vinegar in my deviled eggs. I didn't realize that wasn't like something that people just put in it. That's because it's the only way I've ever made it. Anyway, but this continues to be a slap in the face. And I realize that some people are, you know, choosing to just kind of like let Colleen do what she's going to do and that's okay. I am going to continue to cover her and put her in with other content because I could not imagine doing the things that she has done and then being such a troll about it and clickbaiting it and continuing to tell people, you know what, I'm not going to say F you, but F you guys. 
and to show that she cares so little is astounding to me. And that's why I'm going to continue to cover the nonsensical stuff that she does. No, I'm not going to talk about her TikTok chamoy pickle taste test, but I will talk about the things that I think are relevant to the conversation, at least from my seat. And to put out a video like that, and here's the thing. I get it. Okay, you put out a video with a title and it's like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I am all here for people changing titles and realizing that that was not the right thing to do because I've had to learn my own lessons during my time on YouTube. But that's not what happens with her. Her ukulele video is still up. We are nearing Christmas. And that proves to me that she does not care. And she is going to continue to say F you. And therefore, I'm going to continue to make her content on my channel. So now I want to talk about Matt Reif. There are many men who run around social media dishing it out and they cannot take it when their name is mentioned. I am sure that you guys can agree with me on that sentence. Matt Reif is one of those men. And he has now decided to take a video of a six-year-old child that that child stitched his video, which is, you know, TikTok content. This child, who is very intelligent when it comes to the planets and the galaxy and everything like that, which is so cool. Matt Reif decided to leave a comment on that child's video, which was on his mother's account and said, this is awful. Jupiter also has a ring. Oh, and Santa Claus, which he misspelled, isn't real. Your mom buys you presents with the money she makes on OF. Good luck. He left that comment because a six-year-old child stitched his video. Now, based on the small amount of research that I did, it took, you know, just a few seconds, I do see that Jupiter does also have rings. That was discovered in 1979. So that in itself fine. Okay. Both planets have rings. I, it, that's, that's whatever. But I want to talk about a grown man leaving this comment for a literal child. Number one, talking about, um, misspelled Santa Claus isn't real. Disgusting. Why are you doing that? Why are you being such a man child right now to come out of the gate with that? Secondly, I want to talk about OF. Matt Reif refuses to recognize, like some other men, that not every woman online has an OF. Not every woman online sells images. Just because you click on a woman's social media page and she has photos in a bathing suit or photos in something that would be considered lingerie, like that doesn't mean that she has an OF. I don't understand like these small-minded men that literally think that any woman who has images like that automatically means that they have an OF. Off. I am so sick and tired of this narrative. And to use that as an insult towards a six-year-old really tells me the maturity level that Matt Reif has. And, you know, I am kind of surprised that instead of mainly women being his fan base, I am surprised that there are not more emotionally unavailable and immature men who find his jokes funny. Um, but unfortunately with these types of men that run around, um, and use bullying as what they call comedy, it usually is, you know, a lot of women that watch their videos and watch their content, which to me is just simply alarming. Matt Rife's career will be on the decline. He continues to show people exactly who he is. And I couldn't care less if his career is on the decline because I, I don't think that terrible people deserve platforms. They don't deserve audiences. And he is definitely in that bucket. But I wanted to share this because I don't know anything about Bunny. Um, I really don't know anything about her, but to literally start a fight with a six-year-old is pretty low. 
it is pretty, pretty low to start a fight with a six-year-old over planets and then automatically go to, oh, your mom's pretty? Well, she is an OF. Really, really, ooh. Matt Rife has decided to start beef with my six-year-old child online. Yeah, you heard me correctly, my six-year-old child online. So my name is Bunny Hidea, if you don't know me. Hidea means gift, and this is my gift to you, reading Matt Rife to filth. Like Matt, I have a full female audience online. Although I like mine. I don't want the men, you can keep them, please. I will gladly take your audience because we know you can't satisfy them anyways. This all started when his comedy special, which if that's what we're calling comedy, the things he said that weren't even funny were posted on TikTok and I started being tagged in them because everyone knows that my son is like a genius and he's really into space. I fiercely protect my child online. I'm not a family channel. People know his name, they know he likes space, they know he likes Minecraft, and that's pretty much it. Most people do not know any personal details about my child. And because of that, and because I have such a large audience, when I see people in person and when people see space clips, they tag me in them because they know that that's what he likes. This is the video that I posted. Nothing to do with the stars, man. Just because Jupiter has a ring and you don't, doesn't mean- Probably is Saturn to has rings, and it has more also, and you're mean to girls. I am not the type of content creator that usually talks about other people or other things for views. I focus my content only on me because guess what, Matt? I'm interesting enough on my own, but I also didn't pay for my looks. So that's not really what people follow me for. If you look to the video on here, you can see that all the comments were like, oh my God, he's so smart. He's so cute. Like, oh my gosh, yeah. Girl power. And you, he's not tagged in it. I have no connection with him and it was posted on a Netflix page. While you clearly took a lighthearted video and turned it into fighting with a six-year-old, let's talk about the comments that you said about me. This is my IG where he left the comment, okay? Do I look like I don't even show my body? For you to assume that every single woman online makes money by showing their bodies, which like, if that's what you do, girl, do you. Like, love it. I have never made a single dollar from a man. My audience is female, 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 female. And a little bit of the gays and nays. You can't accept the fact that people may like women for their personalities. No, you we know you don't have one. Do you stick to circle jerking the men that you need validation from? And I will gladly take your female audience that you so desperately want to get. No, it hurts because I'm richer than you. And I didn't have to pay for a Forbes article to make it. And I really wish you luck on what's left of your career. But keep my child's name out of your mouth. We can do part two. I need to catch up with other filming, so I'm going to go ahead and proceed on. But that's the deal with Colleen, and that's the deal with Matt Reif picking a fight with a literal child. What a world. What a world we're living in. But either way, I think that's enough for today. So for now, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.